Asquerosos, asqueroso. Ay, ay, no ay, miras, ay, no ay. miras. Ya, yeah, ah. no miras, asqueroso. Niño, asqueroso. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Cute. A lot of But I'm Everyone. Not lady. You're not a lady? Yes. What are you? I'm Lady Boy. Um, and you don't believe me? You are not a lady, boy, are you? I'm no. Lady Boy. Really? Yes. You are gorgeous. No. No? I'm Lady Boy. I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. Oh, why? You're Lady. I'm Lady Boy. So why don't you just check the hardware? Just go in there with a uh, with your fingers and just do just do like this motion and see if uh, something hangs. And if nothing hangs, then proceed. Or I don't know. <laughs> I've never been in this situation. Your phone's turned sideways too. We friends now. Good morning. We friends now. I hope you have a great week. Cause hey, and if you was looking at the blue one, we cousins now. So we. We like, we frozens. What's up, frozen? You're nice to tell me that they're gonna not betray you. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna say that it's the truth. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I looked at the blue one as well. Uh, she's kind of hot looking, so it is. Yeah. I'm in big trouble because uh, I, I lost my wallet. Do you have like a, because I'm just $2 short to get my bus. Do you have like $2 or something? Yeah. Come here. Thank you so much. Oh, why did you decide to help me? Pardon? Why did you decide to give me money? Because I know what it's like, man. Oh, really? Actually, I don't want this one. Thank you for that. The first person who helped me, I will be blessed with $100. Alright? Thank you so much. This is $50. I don't know if it's uh, a filming homeless people so you can get likes and ad revenue on the internet. It's, I personally find it distasteful. I know a lot of the homeless people are with drugs or whatever. Yeah, and that's a whole nother story. But just it's just something about monetizing misery. Like actual misery and portraying yourself as this holy, oh, I give a hundred um, dollars to a homeless person. It's just something so sleazy about it. I just cannot deal with it. Is it hard in the current dating market to find a guy that doesn't want to smash right away? Is it hard for you? Yeah, so I guess what I have is like guys like that I'm a virgin, that I'm a virgin. That they I beg your pa can you repeat that? I don't want to wait until marriage. Mm. Which is kind of a problem. Yeah. You loyal. You bring to the table when you're in a relationship. Loyalty? Sarcasm? I'm really hoping one day I can meet a girl who can bring sarcasm to my relationship. Oh, I, I'm very sarcastic. I, if you can't get my sarcasm, we're not going to work. Without you even asking, I'll do something to make sure that your day is easier, that your life is easier. Gotcha. If he's having a bad day, I make sure like the food is cooked and that like the house is nice and clean so when he comes home, he can ignore me for five minutes and breathe and have some time to himself. This is actually the best answer we've had today. Yeah, these are just the most clichéistic things that you can uh, possibly say. I don't know. I just take this uh, videos with a grain of salt, just because. Age and occupation. Only fan. Um, I do content creating like on OnlyFans. The craziest object that you've ever used yourself. Um, it was used, and it was a cop. He made me his, and then he me with it. For feminists. What the f what? That's empowering, yet you're relying on creepy, disgusting men who think you are disgusting and trash to ironically pay your bill. Do you eat ass? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, like, I I just love being dirty. Like, the dirtier, the better. Like, let me eat your ass. Let me fucking, like, get spit on. And I work as a legal courtesan. Courtesan. A courtesan. legal process. And then I do OnlyFans. I am a legal sex worker. You Do you see how... Do you see how they try to brush it over? Oh, it's legal. I'm a legal courtesan. I'm a legal this. I'm I'm creating content on the internet and I'm entertaining men and doing all this stuff. And it's like, 
Honey, you're relying on the misery of so many men who can't get laid, they cannot get a date, no girl ever looks at them. Yeah, you're relying on them to pay the bills and doing all that stuff. Like, you're not reinventing, you're, you're not reinventing the wheel here. It's just so... Ugh, I don't know. That's this guy. Raw dogging this chick, right? She goes, yo, I'm on birth control. You can just bust a nun me whenever you want. And you know what I did? I busted. So now this is Dylan. He just turned two the other day. You can't read. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean, I've never met an adult who can't read. They watch in amazement. I quit school early. I went to work. I never learned to read. And now she jumps right in. Okay, well, there's almond, there's banana, bit. there's caramel, there's chocolate and cinnamon. And Reciting and the entire milkshake, milkshake menu. There's also honey, that sounds really good. Patiently going through the long list of flavors one by one. I love the toasted marshmallow. Or chocolate's like the go-to for me. We've got a lot of customers. Do you want to just put in an order? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not in no hurry, by the way. So yeah. Keeping her calm when our server tries to speed things up. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. My grandfather, he's a full minor. He has trouble reading. He's great at math, but Papa, he can't really read that too much. And for the second time today, we find someone personally affected by illiteracy. I don't know if that's uh, real or it's just staged. It seems like it's from a reality show I'm not really familiar with, but it's like, it's not, sorry, it's like he's illiterate. So why would he go to a restaurant? Like, if he doesn't already know the menu. Like, how do we even function in society? And it's so many camera angles, and you can hear their voices clearly, and doing all that. Like, I know how microphone works. I don't know, I'm calling fake on this one. But, you know, it's like a nice uplifting videos, and people will eat it up for various reasons. When it comes to dating, what would you say is like your minimum age for a guy that you're dating? You're like maybe two years younger, like still like 21. And maximum? I guess if someone was like 36 and asked me out, like I would potentially say yes. Would you date someone that's married? No. Do you have a preference in terms of race? No. Do you have a preference in terms of height? Well, I'm 5'6", I think. Maybe like 5'3", minimum. If I like a person, like their height's kind of like not really the most important part. Would you date someone Liar. that is obese? No, because we probably wouldn't be compatible. Minimum income. I don't really care. So would you date someone that's I making mean, 20k? Job, so, yeah. Well, there's a delusions calculator. Stop lying. You're actually <laughs> not. I'm actually very surprised. 39.8% chance of finding a man. It says here that you're um, definitely yeah, down to earth. Sure. I don't think anyone's ever going to beat that percentage ever. Guy buys you a drink at the club. What can he expect in return? Nothing. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to waltz away. Bumble clot. I'm going to show you. That's what happens in a lot of situations because women don't really value all these clowns that cater to them with drinks. Hey, can I buy a drink? Can I do this? Can I do that? Like, they do not give a fuck. They, they don't respect that. They respect other things. And second of all, most women go to the clubs for attention and validation and having a good time and having people throw at themselves at them all the time they don't really go to find love or be in relationships unless the guy is really a catch which is not really the case because most women are not catches either your Children. husband make my husband yeah. i'm 20. your 50k is not enough so how much um at least a million a year Bumble clot. Bumble okay, clot. that's easy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be a little bit more realistic. One oh, I'm being realistic as fuck. What traits would you Here bring to the table to keep that? Going? <laughs> um, well, of course, loyalty. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna. She's the first one to cheat. Attractive woman, so of course I would attract a, a man like that. Okay. And um, nah. family values, morality. Um, I come from a good no. family. Um, no, you don't. I, you know. I went to good schools. No, I don't some have an OnlyFans. Because you're asking for, you want a million dollars a year. Uh -huh. That man is in the point oh 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 one okay, okay. percent. So okay, go ahead I and clean. tell us. I'm very compliant. Um, I'll take cooking classes. Bumble clot. I don't know how to cook, but I'll take cooking oh, classes. No. <laughs> she's not gonna learn how to cook. Trust me. She's gonna do that just to appear like she's trying. She's not gonna cook. <laughs> Bruh, okay. Um. Yeah, very compliance. Um, no, you're not. 
I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> what else do you need? So <laughs> she doesn't know how else to lie. That's what she's meaning. Okay. Think that deserves <laughs> an a million dollar man. Yeah. This. No, you're not deserving anything, bitch. Fucking hell. Hey, what's up? Wanna see some footage of my music video? Not really. Hey, what's up? Wanna see some footage of my music video? Not really. Rude. Seeing that if you're not coming, they're gonna not betray you. I mean, my dreams are devastating. Oh my fucking days! Are you not dumb? Oh my god. Hey. Oh my god, you are stunning. You're right. You're all right, yeah, get rid of that. God bless your parents. What's that little LV brace? That's my favorite brand. Oh. Do a sip! <laughs> oh. Remember, remember, you don't want to gas her too much, the other girls will be pissed. Do you know what, do you know what? Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be, but my Instagram is free and open for you. Just send a message and say my future, and I'll take it from there, babe, yeah? Okay. Oh my God. No, her walk. Her walk is sexy. Oh my God! You shouldn't be like this type of clown. The moment you over exaggerate your emotions and your reactions and your oh oh and doing all this stuff her attraction for her goes like it's like the planes hitting the twin towers just you you and that's it she's gone she doesn't really she she loses respect what, what are you doing man